Um, yeah. yeah, man. So we'll we'll see. It's it's uh it was a it was a big it's yeah. a big commitment, but it's gonna yeah. be worth it. So, um, yeah. and you know, you can tell I've got some. I got a couple empty shelves here. You know, sacrifices. I, 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 I see. I mean, I saw some <laughs> posts this week that uh, that, I know. That, that brought great delight to the dark side. I'm sure it it's, did. It's like I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know? uh, I, I sacrifices had to be made, but it, but a good thing is I have. You know, I got a couple more. Op- I'm opening tonight that I can possibly put in those places. Oh so. yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, yeah. dude, I was thinking to myself. Maybe we shouldn't invite Thor because he doesn't care about hot toys. No, nah, it's just hanging out. <laughs> and then I was you like, know, yeah, let's so. just invite him to hang out. Yeah, yeah, there he so. is. Ah, uh, yes. There he is. Had some major malfunctions going on. Oh, my with goodness. Your, with your computer? Yeah, it just didn't, it wasn't set up at all. And I just got home and just hasn't been an easy night. So That's all right. That's all right. Took me well, a little bit. It sounds yeah. like your, uh, your computer mic is on, not your... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, you yeah. might have to reset your mic. Um, well, at least we're all here. <laughs> oh yes, you're my uh, friends, my brother. Exa- exactly. <laughs> how's how's your week been going, Thor? It's been going good, and you know, um, it, you know, uh, like I said, I got rid of uh, got rid of some furniture. You know, still doing my little renovation. Uh, ordered some IKEA my IKEA cases so I can uh, you know because the ladies they they're homeless right here, so I gotta. You know, get them their home, right. and that's and, right. Because uh, I got rid of my detox, and uh, when does the alien come in? Uh, um, the guy he said early August. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, the way this guy operates, um, I guess he just puts them on the boat, and whenever it reaches the mainland, that's when you get the uh the tracking number. So, you know, Damn. yeah. Dude, my uh, I think my um, I got a email from Maji Case that my Maji cases should be in. Um. I think they're gonna be in it, like like at least into LA at the end of the month, maybe, and then. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then they'll be out to yeah. us maybe in mid, you know, sometime in August. So that's great. That's great. That's very good. Um, they uh, apparently they've they've had some more setbacks because of of COVID, and they, oh, they haven't yeah. even been able to manufacture. Holy, there he is! Wow. Yo, PJ. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> What's up, PJ? <laughs> hey guys, I can't I haven't stay on too long. I haven't seen your head this big in a long time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm actually in bed. Damn Are ready. you? It's fantastic. Yeah, man. I'm about to, I'm about to say, like, you about to lick some armpit hair, homie. Uh, no armpit hair. <laughs> maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe some some toes, but uh-huh. hell, yeah. hell yeah, hairy toes. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Pete? Good, man. Just uh, hanging. Hell yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just I was. Uh, Work was rough, so I was just like, I, I, nah, "That's all right. That's all right." I was going to do a live stream. I think I told you like early. In the yeah. Week, and I just I was like, Buh. "Yeah." And, well, thanks for jumping on here, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Here to support um, always. PJ, did you did you open XM Luke yet? No, I'm actually um, I'm actually going to wait till I get the uh, Spec Fiction um, T shirt in. Oh, I okay. Wanna, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to thank you. You want to rep uh, Spec Fiction? Yeah. Yeah, he's sending it, so uh, um, I should be getting it next weekend. Plus, I got so many other like things to um, review. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah, I have um, the uh, no, 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 yeah. the, the EFX um, Vader helmet that I have to unbox. I got yeah, Black, yeah. Black Widow hot toys. I still have to review. Um, I got edit some hot toys stormtroopers. Uh, the uh, the Luke and Han Stone Trooper in disguise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got Joker coming in this week. So. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, dude! So, I'm excited for you to open that XM look. I love that. Oh, stuff. you got a whole rack of shit waiting for you, homie. Yeah, just uh, I was I, I barely got through the uh, War Machine review, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I got so many, I had so many things this week. PJ Aramaestro says, "Don't forget the Purell." PJ. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yes. And then we got uh, the War Machine review is great. So. Oh, thanks, Simon. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. I wasn't sure because um, my wife is not around, but I kind of ventured out of the man cave, and uh, I think mm-hmm. I told you guys that. Um, so the movie room, we're turning it into like, mm-hmm. like a movie ish. Like we're gonna have like you know, I'm, I want to have like movie statues there, like Marvel. 
Joker, you know, kind of representing the movies that I love. I'll have like posters there. I'm looking to buy an 8K TV in the fall because uh, the uh, PlayStation 5 should be dropping pretty soon, which supports 8K. So, you know, I'm looking. Dude, that's to- crazy. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I, I know and people like, are like not even in. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, <laughs> be able to see the pixels. <laughs> yeah, I was like, they're like, are you crazy? Like, or, you know, 8K, whatever. And the thing is, like, I'm a big like video file and yeah, uh, sure, sure. guy to uh, you know collecting crossways and stuff. And when I heard they were making 4K and I saw the resolution and how much percentage more, you know, it had over 1080p, I was like, I don't know if it's worth. I mean, you know, the, the jump. So I waited, like, seriously, mm. I waited a very long time to purchase a 4K TV. Like, the yeah. only reason why I bought a 4K TV was for The Mandalorian. Like, if I didn't, if Mandalorian never, like... Whoa, whoa, me. does it mean last fall you just buying a 4K TV? Yeah, man, I waited oh that goodness. long. Yeah, you waited. I waited that long, and I bought it on Black Friday. Yeah, you yeah. like yeah. You usually the best times to get is like NCAA tournament time, the Super mm-hmm. Bowl, or Black Friday. Those are three yeah. times to get TVs. Cause I got mine. I got <clears throat> seventy inch four K TV. Mine was a thousand bucks. Oh yeah, I never, yeah. So I, PJ, this is a new setup, huh? Yeah. So I'm 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 still in the, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna have like some more like uh, uh, statue displays there. Yeah. I have the RK one up. So right now, like I'll do like all my Marvel reviews there. Since it's like Marvel themed, quote unquote, you know, you're not, you're not selling that that Thanos. Uh, I I am selling that Thanos. Well, it's, it's basically almost sold. I just got to meet up with a guy. Uh, but I don't know. Like I, I'm having doubts and like because you know, like it's one of those things where you when you start looking into a piece again and start looking at you know like how good that piece is. I was like, it's gorgeous. I don't know if I should sell it. You know, because, you know, like you, we've been in, like, a Star Wars high for, for quite a bit. And uh, I put Marvel in the back burner, but... Um, it after deserves the Marvel- to be on the back burner, though, for you, PJ. Like, oh, yeah, of course. Like, I mean, I'm still going to put Star Wars as number one, but I still yeah. appreciate the pieces that I still have, you know? Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. You have the exclusive one, PJ? No, that one's uh, sold out. Yeah. <laughs> That one you have to be like on the money. Yeah, PJ, I don't, I don't know how the hell you were able to track down a, 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 a um, rooted hair Joker. Well, I've been, I've been tracking down for quite some time, and um, you know, I reached out to Todd, and Todd was like, I, I, I was basically on the waiting list on, on for Spec Fiction. If those, so if someone canceled, I would have like you know moved up the waiting list, but. Uh, thanks to Steven from Whiplash Collectors, um, he uh, he messaged me. He's like, "Yo, dude, like I, I think I could. Fi- I, I found a uh, rooted hair Joker for you." I was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, hit up uh, Primo Collectibles." So Primo Collectibles just did the review of the Joker, and he actually has like an online shop. Uh, he sells mostly in Asia. You know, and stuff like that. So I hit him up. You know, he gave me a price, which is basically retail. Like, actually, it is retail. And uh, yeah, I said I, I couldn't pass up on that offer. And uh, yeah, and next thing you know, it's like here within a week. Because I was like, okay, cool. Just let me. I'm thinking like when I pre-ordered him, I'm like, oh, it'll be like a couple weeks yeah. before I get him. And he's like, he messaged me Monday. He's like, hey man, it's here. You ready? I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Do you have any other DC? No, well, no. Actually, this is like my first DC statue. Uh, it's I, a great it, statue to to have, though. I'm what made goodness. you jump into it? I've always loved that Heath Ledger Joker. Yeah, like I, he made that movie. Like yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, like I don't know if you guys like Christian Bale, but yeah, he was like, an okay Batman. I just liked like, him. I thought he was good. Yeah, but the voice, the voice. Yeah, I hated, I hated that damn. Yeah, the voice. Yeah, oh, I hated that. Terrible. Yeah, I hated that shit. Terrible. You know, so I actually, really when like... I first got into statue collecting and hot toys collecting, I've always wanted a Heath Ledger Joker. Like for hot toys, like I've always been looking for one, but the price of that 
uh, Joker was always like six hundred bucks. Actually, it was more back then. It was like seven hundred to eight hundred bucks. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm not spending that much for a figure. It's still so, up there. Yeah, still up there. Like five. So six, I. Right? What's up? Five or six, right? Yeah. So I was like, well, you know what? For that kind of money, I might as well buy a statue. And I was looking. I actually did buy the sideshow Heath Ledger Joker, which. I was so disappointed with it when I first got it. I was in the same I was in the same boat like when I got when I got it, the magnets were loose, the sculpt I, I wasn't really happy with the sculpt. So I was like I returned it and I was like, Yeah, I'm not keeping this. Mm. Um and it was one of those things that like lingered in my collecting heart for such a long time. Same with the uh the aliens uh in the alien warrior. So those were still like uh, those two collectibles were like you know burning a hole in my in my heart and my soul so yeah i, to... I hear that you know most so people I'm... what's most up people pick, most people pick a focus like star wars or marvel or a little bit mm -hmm. of both but it, i think it's okay like i like heath ledger i like mm -hmm. christopher Reeve superman i would get i would get a hot that hot toy mm -hmm. i would get um uh harley quinn just because mm -hmm. she's great as harley quinn i would mm -hmm. get like the ones that are like the best version. There's nothing wrong with with having diff all all kinds of different stuff. It's just expensive. Yeah, like yeah, that's what you, we tell everybody, right? If you can focus, you're gonna save yourself a shit ton of money. Um, yeah, well, yeah, unless absolutely. you focus and spend all your money on, you're True. probably spending the same amount on one focus as you are. Like, I on, definitely like, am. I definitely am. Yes. Um, yeah. Hey, real quick, should I open Han or or Krennic first? Han. Han first, okay. Because I've got I've got Mud Trooper here too, and I'm that one's being that one's gonna get sold, I think. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no go ahead, bro. Sorry. I was gonna say, Matt, you've been breaking my heart like this whole week, man. <laughs> like, post after post. <laughs> I know. I I, I, know. I like yeah, I said gif uh, responses of me crying and dude, I get the most shit for when I when I put stuff up. Everyone's like, "Why are you dude. getting out of the game?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm not. I'm just selling certain ones." Um, no, but I mean, yeah, no, me, it's not. It's not even about like the Hot Toys game. It's just more like you're selling Star Wars stuff. Like, I'm yeah, no, I don't. Not that I really want to, but at the same time, I, I the, the the biggest thing I, I already sold Obi Wan and, and Anakin, right? Uh -huh. And then I, I'm not getting Qui-Gon. So I was like, I was looking at my hot toys and I was like, why? Like I have three prequel characters that are just going to be sitting there almost without anybody to, to go with kind of a thing. Uh -huh. So I just kind of was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a good place I could get to, you know, without, I told yeah. Thor, I told Thor before this, what I'm getting, what Steve and I are, are getting takes sacrifice. It, yeah. It's just no way around it. Yeah, it's but too expensive. Uh, anytime yeah, I was gonna say, up, anytime you put anything up, like ten people are saying you're selling all your hot toys. I know. It. I got, I got that, and I, and that I was a scammer a couple yeah. times, and I was like, yeah, oh, that one right. too. Yeah, you're a scammer. <laughs> Where yeah, yeah. is Steve? Steve's on well, vacation. I was, uh -huh. yeah, I was gonna say every time I, I try to like message like not only the crying gift, but also like all oh, reputable sell seller or whatever. I, I look, it's like sold. So you must have like unloaded like a whole bunch of pretty. Quickly. I just unloaded. I unloaded three, and then um, you put them at and, prices to sell the two. Yeah, yeah, it was it was yeah. decent prices. Yeah, I mean yeah. they're they're still selling for pretty good, and yeah. so um, yeah, I was able to make some, and then I'm going to sell this mud trooper, and I'd love to sell it to you, PJ. It's just too damn expensive. Yeah, it's no, so it's okay, man. I mean, I know, dude, it's not a problem, man. Yeah, dude, the just, new the new mud troopers are already going for like i mean from hong kong they're really expensive but mm -hmm. um you know they're already going for like 400 bucks or something like that's it's, it's crazy but you have another mud trooper coming up i haven't yeah i'm not saying i'm selling my only mud trooper i, I have another one coming in yes mm -hmm. um luckily for some reason i jumped on it and i was like i'll just get rid of my other pre-order from big bad toy store and then mm -hmm. after all this happening i was like man i should keep this thing and sell the other one so that's what's happening yeah is that the well, one you have now is from Hong Kong, right? This from Hong Kong, yes. Both no. the Mud Trooper. Yeah. What do you mean? The the Mud, Mud Trooper, Trooper yeah. from Hong Kong, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that, that one that came quick. Out? That one? Okay, that one actually didn't come quick. No, that one that took one, a long time. Yeah, that one took a long time. That one came... When did that one come? That one that one came almost the same time this did, but this one came in like three or four days when I ordered after I ordered it. The other one was like a month and a half. Yeah. Because of the bad shipping for from COVID. So oh wow. You, you have this PJ, yeah? Well yeah, no, actually, um I was going to get it, but then yeah. I wanted to get a much river instead. But okay. I'm actually, you know what? I changed my mind. My boy, Heroes and Villains, is actually, um, you know, has one put aside for me when it comes oh, in. Good. So, yeah, so it's yeah. a uh, regular. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, get that. Yeah, are you getting the deluxe or the regular? Uh, deluxe. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because yeah. I just got the regular. I didn't want to go. Yeah, put the uh, fur coat. I, I don't know. I was, go I was going to just get the regular, but then I'm like, huh. Oh. Me and my stupid accessory needs, so I'm like, All yeah. Right. I just are you gonna you gonna display with the for, probably for not. I mean, look, not. we're not all Steve, right? So Steve got two, of course. <laughs> yeah, and jerk off that probably like <laughs> sitting right next to. <laughs> and he's displaying what with the fur coat, what without, which is great. Yeah. But well, yeah, I had the same idea. Did he get two much troopers or one? One. He got one. He he got two uh, Hans. He got two yeah. Hans. Yeah, I would have done um, did the opposite. And got two mud troopers, which I'm, um, you know, I am still looking for one. I and uh, yeah. I wasn't planning on displaying it with the coat, but then after I saw like the reviews and and a lot of the pictures, I may I may actually display it with the coat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Red Wolf wants to do. Listen, the the problem with the mud trooper at this point, I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to say this. The problem is I have something that's crazy expensive that I'm buying right now currently. Mm -hmm. and I'm like in the middle of, and so anything I sell has to go for like as much money as it possibly can go for so that I can at least have, at least be able to look my wife in the eyes. You know what I mean? And not feel like I'm like completely bankrupting us. So, yeah, I'm in the same boat too. Um, you know, like I, I had to get rid of some figures. Uh, the war machine, I'm like, it's a nice figure, but, you know, I am getting this Joker, so I don't want to have my wife look at me every single day with like disdain. So I just like <laughs> with regret in her eyes. Regret, like you know, why did I marry this guy? That's like basically <laughs> funding his collection with our kids' uh, college. Exactly. Religion. Exactly. Is that so, a one third Joker, right? What's that? That's a one third. Yeah. Joker. One, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing it's, price for that. It's a crazy that's price, and that's amazing. Quick, if I shut my door. Do you think? Do you it's think? Um, do you think they're going to be able to to keep prices like that, Thor? Do you think that's even possible? I mean, um, I think because they're just beginning the line. Um, usually, prices start out so they can sell them, and then once people get the stuff in hand, then you're going to see like a hike. Like Prime One, perfect example. They used to didn't be this expensive. Now these mo these mofos then lost their freaking mind, and uh, yeah, you got yeah. Di dial is going yeah. for fifteen hundred bucks. So. You know? Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's true, Thor. I, I really hope that they, away. they yeah. alien give me away the price. Like, I would love yeah. to find it, but it's just crazy for a quarter scale. I, it's crazy. Yeah, I know, but it it looks so damn good for me. Uh, uh, do you know? Do you guys know? Does do does everyone in the Star Wars universe actually wear these boots, <laughs> or is this just something they redo all the time for the Hot Toys? Because Tarkin has this. Han Solo has this. Um, yeah, they just, uh, they're like, you know. Uh, no, I'm just wondering for reals, though. Is it, is that. Oh, no, I was just making, it's going to make it. Because I don't, I don't, I they, they use them all the time now. They're like, this they is the same boost as uh, from New Hope, from Tarkin. Let's uh, ship it out to uh, the next movie. Yeah, they don't care. Is there a mud yeah, on the bottom know. of those? What's that? Is there a mud on the bottom of those? Yeah, like, it's kind of, yeah, it does have a little bit of. Dirty. It had, yeah, it's dirty. Yeah, yeah. It's really this dude. I tell you what, man, they really, um, they really killed it with these solo figures. Yeah, which is surprising. It's really unbelievable, surprising. man. It is unbelievable. I mean, how's that leather? Here, I'll, feel? Show you. I'll show you here. Hold on one second. How does that leather jacket feel? Like, is it like pleathery it's, or is it soft? Or? It's you know what? It's um, it's not. No, it it feels like like soft canvas almost. Doesn't look gen doesn't feel generic at all or 
like the color or anything? I don't, no, it feels good. It feels yeah. feels really nice. I don't. I wouldn't say it feels like leather though. No. Um, no. But I would say the only thing, obviously, that's eventually going to be a problem is this little magnet. They always have these problems with the magnets. They always do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, seriously though, like that's <clears throat> that, that's, that's him. Android. That's him. Yeah. Well, I was going to say is that it's just so weird. Pretty crazy. You know, with Hot Toys and their inconsistency, it's just like they 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 focused on like a least popular movie in terms of their like sculpting and like you know whatever but then you got like major hitters like you know like marvel like ant-man and you know maybe maybe hawkeye or yeah you know the the ewok and stuff and you're like what happened like you went from like solo like great sculpts to that but i was actually talking to somebody um um earlier on the messenger he actually hit me up um you know and uh was telling me about uh that he wanted that Batman one third scale of Queen Studios where he could order it from and the and he got the Joker too. So, you know, we were talking about like sculptors and you know why, you know, uh some of the stuff is inconsistent uh in terms of releases with hot toys. And yeah. he's saying that like uh, you know, usually JC Hong and his team fly over to the factories to do some QC, you know, quality control and stuff. Yeah, and because of the you know the order sixty nine, they they weren't able to fly over there. Okay, and, and do you know check on what's going on? Everything was done online. Mm. So I guess like you know, can you imagine imagine doing some QC on like Streamyard or something? Like oh yeah, that looks good. You know, no way, dude. So that's probably maybe why the Hot Toys um, did take a little dip with their. Uh, yeah, stuff. that that, that kind of makes sense actually. Here you go, PJ, a little mud trooper at cost. Oh um, yeah, Modoc. I'm gonna hit you up, man. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That was great. To everybody, man. Seriously, you guys are super awesome. Um Modoc, uh, Red Wolf, everybody. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nightmare right here. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I, you know what? I wanted to do like a really, really like funny like videos and stuff, like where uh, you know top like top five uh, ways to make your wife be okay with you buying like high end collectibles or something like that. Yeah. And one of them, I was like, you gotta whine and one of one of the tips I was gonna say was like, whine and dine your wife, right? Like <laughs> buy like you know. After you get your kitchen remodeled, get your kitchen remodeled. I tell you get what, get your kitchen remodeled. Buy something big, and then like once she's like, there's a there is like a slit, like a small moment or a small opportunity when they're like smiling and they're like, oh my gosh, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have bought me this, and then you're like, oh, I love you so much. Five minutes later, exactly five minutes later, that's when you break it down to her and go, <laughs> you know, there's so. So, what do you think about this Joker statue? That looks good. I'm thinking about pre-ordering it. <laughs> yeah, you? Oh, my God, you just bought me this awesome. You should get it. <laughs> Thor, here's a question for you. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't have any. Um, the only three of them that I'm a big fan of, uh, the Mando one, I think is the best one. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, I've never seen any of them in per person. Uh, was the Thrawn one looks good. And mm -hmm. a lot of people say that, that the Malik isn't accurate, but I kind of like this Malik that's coming out, but, uh, um, our, our guy is going to make one. So, I'll, uh, fortunately I won't have to pre-order it right now. Yeah, so. that's nice. Yeah. So, I just don't like uh, the, the pose of Malik. Like he's like doing like a little strut, you know? I hear you. I mean, it's, it, it, that's the that's the first one I've seen where he doesn't have that thing on. I was never really a fan of that chin guard or whatever he has on because I heard like he got his his jaw cut off by Revan or something. But mm -hmm. I, I like that uh, that unmasked head, so to speak, you know. So, but yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, I'll wait for for our guy to make his. Chris Country Club wants you to do a video tour. We already did one, yeah, but sure, huh? yeah, but your internet was just god awful that day. Uh, it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to redo something. Saying, yeah. yeah, yeah. There is. It's, it's the only video tour we've done so far. We were going to do the a only, bunch. But... It's the only one we've done. You know what? 
seeing it, seeing how everyone, everyone else does video tours yeah. of things. I just, I just kind of was like, what's the point, right? Like we can do it. We can do it if people want us to do it, but it's just, there's so many freaking people doing it. But you know what? That... How about this? Like, how about like, you know, uh, collectors favorite star Wars pieces or something like they just go on screen and that'd be it's cool. possible. Or, it's possible. Yeah. I like, I listen, I like watching video tours. I do. And so I, I don't blame anyone else. I don't, I have a, no problem with other people doing it. I just don't want to be another channel yeah. that's doing the same damn thing. Right. Um, but we do it, we do it, we do it a little bit we differently. We go through it and we talk about the pieces rather than, Hey, this is my Darth Vader. This is, yeah, yeah, for sure. Part. This is this. So we do it differently. Yeah. Which I think is yeah. Right. What's up, Mario? We got a lot of um, got, uh, uh, Chris Letty. From Dan Lee, what's up? Oh, oh cool. Yeah, yeah. Vintage Viewport. Cool. Danny, Brian, what's up, Chris? Paul. I was uh, just watching today. I was just finishing. Uh, we just started watching the uh, Six Skill Scavengers um, podcast. So um, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's a good one. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Brian, well, Matt's room is looking a little bare. It is right now. They took yeah, they had to take stuff down. Really, really breaking my heart, man. I know. Well, they had to take stuff down for the remodel stuff. They had to redo this door. And so oh. that's <laughs> finally finished, I think. So I can start. I think I can start putting things up again. Yeah. Um, you know, so this, this poster's down and all that stuff. So, and then, um, yeah. and then, yeah, I've got a couple empty shelves, which is actually nice. Cause I can put some of these <laughs> in there. But, um, yeah, you're keeping you know, that. Does this head just pop off normally? Cause I know the hair comes off. Does yeah. It just so. come off normally because it's really hard to pull off. And I'm like, you're trying to pull the head off. Yeah. Why? Because it has this, it has this, um, Oh, stuff the, on it. okay. So I was just going to slip that off, but, um, you're keeping that one. This one I'm keeping. Yeah. 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 yeah I really like this one. The, all the, all, a lot of the, the solo ones I really, really like, I think they do. Was, was that job. on your radar when it first came out or did you no. kind of grow, grow into it? No, I saw reviews. I saw reviews on it and I saw people put me up, put him up and I was like, man, I got to get one of these. Yeah. I remember. I thought, I thought you weren't all that hyped on it. Though. Yeah. You know what? I saw Steve put a picture up with both of his in there. And I was like, okay. damn, that looks so good. They did such a good job with them that I, I decided I had to get them. So, um, yeah, now when I pulled the week or so, yeah, I pulled the, pulled the trigger on that one. And then I've got a uh, chronic to open. And yeah. again, I have the mud trooper, but I'm going to sell that mud trooper. So, cause I'm getting yeah. another one. Um, did you ever announce what you're getting or are you holding off on that? Haven't yet. No, <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, okay. I, I don't know when I, I, we're gonna like both Steve and I got got it at the same time, and um, maybe next Friday. Maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. it's it's a really it's like the Grail of Grails, and um, it's the one it's something I've been wanting for a, a while now. And I was showing it to my wife yes, yesterday, and she's <laughs> it like, doesn't get better. Well, <laughs> she's like, "Why would you want that?" I'm like, "Are you freaking <laughs> <laughs> like, Just <laughs> Yeah. So awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's amazing out. and I cannot wait to get it, but it's probably not it's probably not gonna come in until end of September. Yeah. Um, but it's so freaking expensive. Uh it's just not it's not okay how expensive it is. So <laughs> did you uh, tell your wife how much it was? Or what's that? You, have you told your wife how much it is? No. <laughs> no, I told her I told her I have selling stuff. I told her I have something big coming in. I am selling stuff in order to make it an more Right, but like did you to tell make my her heart that? feel better. Okay, no, you didn't tell her. No, I don't. I just I tell her I'm selling things and I'm picking some some stuff up. It's not. It's okay. not important. It's not important, yeah. Chris. Right, right. right. It's yeah. it's uh it's it's happening. And you know what? Like I pulled the trigger on it. <clears throat> I told Steve, I was like, look, I don't. This has to happen before San Diego Comic Con, or else I'm worried it's never going to happen because. <laughs> uh... Because yeah. if San Diego Comic Con comes up and like all of a sudden like I see all these fun new things, I might not want to do it anymore and i'm and so i was like i have to do it right now i have to so um, is it already like in the process or you guys already like yeah. it's in the pre it's pre-ordered or mm -hmm. it's yeah, ordered kind of and it's i really happened. kind of wish you waited like at the end of the month you can but. still do it you can still do it pj yeah and, no matter. You can do it and it's a three it's a three payment thing so yeah 
So instead of doing it all, you know, one giant lump sum, you <laughs> can. Wonder, you can what the hell you're talking about? We've been it's, talking about this for like five minutes now. Yeah, I know. It's it's. I don't want to. I don't want to. I really, honestly, don't want to make it a, a, you know, a big deal that we're like keeping a secret of. But I just don't. I don't know if Steve wants people to know. He like, I, the first one, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Steve just, wants to be first. I yeah. know he, he always wants to be first. He oh, probably I, is bummed. I'm even ordering it with him to be honest. Okay. Yeah, let, me, let, let, me, um, let me put out a scenario for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happens if <laughs> Sideshow decides to release a Mandalorian statue mm. with a quarter scale and it's going to release <laughs> at the in the fall. And you know and not not and, and it ain't gonna release in the fall. <laughs> No, no, they've done no. that. They've done that where they announced like Juggernaut, right? Thor, like Juggernaut was like the fastest, like pre order yeah, to production. Yeah, but it wasn't at Comic Con that they put it out, was it? They no, well, they uh, they um, they teased it in December, right? They gave us a full picture. Yeah, they said pre order was going to go up in February <clears throat> or something like that. Pre orders went up, and by like June, July. That thing was being. Uh, yeah, it did come. Out. It came quick, but yeah. Okay. You have yeah. So. Okay. You have I mean, because that would be like a perfect opportunity, right? While the Mandalorian show is out, like, mm -hmm. you know, they announce this now, and then freaking three months, four months later, you're getting the the statue. Yeah, I look. I I talked to Chris about this, and mm -hmm. I spent some time making sure. You know, I thought through this. Not a lot of time, but enough time. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and and so I figured. No, anything that comes out in San Diego Comic Con, I should be able to. Ha I should have some time to pre-order, right? Especially statues. Like I didn't pre-order. I didn't order the Rancor until just recently. Um, yeah. I didn't order yeah. Ventress until recently, and so mm -hmm. I should have some time. Um, that's what I'm hoping is I can count on having some time. Um, otherwise, yeah. you're right. It Wait is or other stuff. Yeah. It is a problem. That is yeah, a and then you, is it, uh, you got the cockpit coming in too, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the only the, reason why I don't want to do look, it. The now. bigger, the bigger problem I have is space, mm -hmm. because I'm I'm getting I'm getting my module cases, my the at least these module cases that are going to take up this space here. That is coming in August, so I should be able to move some things around and put statues in some other places. And I've got, yeah, I have got that figured out for right now. So the big things I've got figured out the, what I've told, what I've told Chris and Steve that I don't want, I don't want to become the guy. I don't want to become the type of collector that has a bunch of big things and not a, not a good variety of collect of collectibles. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why I like, I like, I like that I have hot toys and quarter mm -hmm. scale and you know um some bus and stuff i like that but i'm getting a lot of big stuff so i don't know how that's gonna work to be honest it's, um, well i think if you had the module cases that i think it would have been easier to kind of figure out right yeah and eventually i will and that's why i'm not super concerned about it even did if i have that you get it yet what's that did you get the notice you're getting it yet you mean the big setup no yeah yeah your module cases did you get a notice yet saying it's coming I know I'm getting this one right okay. now. That but one's coming in. More, the other one won't come in until mm -hmm. the end of the year. Okay. Oh, if, if that they're supposed to be ramping things up. Hmm. So, um, the idea is they're they're because of COVID they're able to, they had, they had to shut down stuff, but apparently they, they got some new stuff in their warehouse that it kind of will help them move faster. Apparently something like that. For which one? For Maji case, so apparently oh, okay. it's supposed to go faster. Production's supposed to go faster, but yeah, it needs to. Uh, it needs to. Brian Hall was asking if I was in bed. Yes, I am in bed. Yeah, PJ's in bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm. This uh, is what it looks like, guys. This is what PJ looks like in bed. Yeah. So is your wife in bed? With you? Who wondered? No, is your wife in bed with you? Why are you doing? That? Is your wife in bed with you while you're doing the podcast? No, or? no, she's she's yeah. like running around. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dude, this is killer, man. I finally got that stuff off. It took a while, but that um, looks awesome. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. Can't wait to get yeah. It. And the belt, dude. The belt is so sick. They yeah. did a great. They did such a good job. And there's like weathering on the shoes. Um, it looks really, really good. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Damn. 
I don't I mean, either. I don't know why I, I didn't pre-order this thing, to be honest. Yeah, I, man, I should have just picked it up. Did a review yeah. also, and then you get one, PJ. Yeah, I'm getting one. He's just. Okay. Uh, I'm now. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking I should have. Now, does, does this yeah. have the potential to be in the Falcon cockpit? Yes. It, I mean, it could be. Might it could more. be. It could be. Are you putting yours in the this this? Yeah, game? I'm gonna be switching them up. I'm gonna be putting them on in and every now every like. Every it's not a bad I'm idea. Um, I probably gonna put Han, like older Han and and Chewie in there yeah. to be honest. I like both, so I'll, I'll switch them up. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yes, because he's got the he's got these like you know the gloves that yeah. you can switch him yeah. up on. Mm -hmm. Um, they look really nice. Um, mm -hmm. and those do look like leather. Those are pretty cool. So yeah, I could see that. I think I'm, this one's going to go with the patrol trooper, I believe. And, um, that's probably it. Right. Patrol trooper. And ev eventually I'll put the mud trooper there. Ah, uh, cause Shoot I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to put the mud trooper with the head sculpt. Though, <clears> so that might be kind of weird to have them standing together. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I got to figure that out. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, oh, you're not going to put the Mud Trooper with the helmet on? I think I'm going to have him holding it. Like, have him holding some of that stuff. That's what mm -hmm. I did. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. Sure. Yeah, it looks yeah. really good with him holding it. I actually put the, the gas mask down on his chest. You can bend it so it sits down there real nice. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Just don't put it. Don't put the hoses in the back, and you'll be able to set it down far enough that okay. it covers face. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. The only problem that. with that is it covers up that cool-ass chest plate. I love that. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, you are correct, um, but then I'd be in Texas, and I don't want <laughs> I don't want to be in Texas. Some people like it. I wouldn't. I've I've been there many times. I, I'm not a big fan. Um, yeah. I see a lot of free space behind you. Yeah, kind of. Um, It'll fill up quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, yeah. once I get the Magic cases in, I'll have even more space for all kinds yeah, of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So wait, Matt. I was gonna say. So that is it. You are not doing any prequel stuff. Uh, well, I'm still getting Cody because I really like Cody, and I will get Rex. I, I'm basically what I'm thinking of doing is now thinking more towards the Clone Wars side of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the Clone Wars a lot, and I'm, I'm, I'm honestly more fan of the Clone Wars than I am of prequels, to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I'm thinking of just collecting stuff from the Clone Wars. I don't know if I'll do all of it, but I'm. That's kind of where I'm headed. I think. Oh, I was thinking. Um, how about uh, the Darth Maul from Solo? Are you gonna? I mean, you're picking that up, right? No, I'm not. You're not. Oh my no, because God. That, could, <laughs> because that could be because because PJ that could be Clone I, Wars too. Yeah, sort of. but I, but I'm I'm getting the I'm getting the mythos small. I don't that's more. Uh, that's more Rebels though than Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah, and I look. I just don't need. I don't want a bunch of malls, and I don't want a, a shit ton of Vaders. Like. Mm -hmm. If they're they come out with another Vader thing, I if it's amazing, I'd probably get it. But I, I don't want a ton of Vaders. I I you know I like Vader, not my favorite. Um, I don't want a ton of Mauls. I love Maul, but he's not you know I don't need a bunch of them. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just don't. If they, well, if, if, if they I will guy. have so many Lukes. I'll have so many Lukes and Hans and yes, I'm like I'm a light side guy. So I would love that. What yeah, but it's not gonna a, happen. What if they came out with a Clone Wars Maul? No sure. Well, that's kind of what I feel like. That's what I feel I, like the mythos is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. That's that's why. That's kind of why I. That's my. <laughs> that's my piece, man. Yeah. I get that it. is my the mall I want to get, and yeah. that I'm excited for. So yeah, I don't need a. I don't need a, at least I don't need another mall right now. They'll probably come out with another one that's amazing. Yeah. Um, my son's gonna kill me. I'm not getting that. But. Yeah. I'm expecting something from so, some San Diego. Uh, I listen, I I Chris. When you see that thing, I don't see how you're not going to be get it. If once you see yeah. it, <laughs> <laughs> wait, Tell Chris. Me, you, you, wait, Chris. You you don't have them all on pre order. No, I don't have that one on pre order. Plus, the way I look at it is okay. There's like what seven thousand of them. So if I do eventually get it, I could probably get it way down the line for either twenty dollars off or I could get free shipping at some point. It'll be. Mm -hmm. It'll be on there for a little while. This is yeah. cool to put in the cockpit. <clears throat> yep. That'll be cool. Actually, I guess there's not a place to put it, though, huh? Unless you keep the, the can. We got to get Yost to make a uh, land speeder uh, blue one from Solo. Yeah, I would love that, dude. I really would love that. Yeah, that's a cool one. Mm. We should do. We should put something up about that because that 
I would love that. Oh, by the way, I should. Uh, I can share uh, screen share on this. Oh, point, here. But... Oh, you can't. No. Well, let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I could send it to you. They uh, released the um, picture of Man- Mando. Of what? Mando? Mandalorian uh, for season two. Oh, really? Yeah. They put up a picture of it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get, yeah, I'll get it for you. Uh, yeah, it's just basically um, they painted it like um, his Beskar armor in like all pink. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the pink squadron. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me get it for you. I think yeah. uh, so. Airmaster said, "Sideshow should give us some Clone Wars mythos line. That'd be kind of cool." Honestly, I I would put on a dailies. I don't understand how they. I think you said there is a place to hang the dice. Oh, good. That's great. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's awesome. Well, the problem is, doesn't it hang from the glass piece? You're I don't taking- think so. I think it hangs right, kind of right above them, almost. I bet you it's like right before the cockpit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Gotcha. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, Let's see. Oh, Matt. Yeah. I think something's coming next Wednesday. Is it really? Yeah. So we can do another one of these. I think so. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Chris has something fun coming in next week. So we'll do another unboxing and talking next week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's pretty unbelievable. That is an unbelievable story. It is an unbelievable story, yeah. But I'm not gonna. Not yeah, yeah. We'll we'll wait till next week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that'll be a fun one because that's yeah. Anyway, we'll yeah. Be good. Uh, DJ to me, Clone, uh, Clone Wars didn't redeem the prequel. Still don't like Episode One and Two at all. Made me love, uh, but made me love Episode Three even more. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, that makes. I sense. I, I still don't mind. I don't mind the prequels. Um, I don't mind them. I just one and two. Uh, not that great, but I can, I mean, I don't hate them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like a lot of parts of them, but I, I definitely, three is just one of the best. Thor, did Clone Wars make you like the prequels more? No. Um, was, uh, uh did you get it? Uh, let me I put it in the Rogue One Six though. Yeah. I yeah. got, I got something. Yeah. Okay. I got it. No, nah, um, I think, Two two is probably my least favorite Star Wars movie. I don't. I'd rather watch the Last Jedi than two. <laughs> I would. Yeah. I, I would, yeah. I'd rather watch the Last Jedi than Attack of the Clones. Hear that? But um. So where did you get this, PJ? What's up? Where'd you get this picture from? Um, my boy Jay Jay Septicon. He posted it. He got it from somewhere. But yeah, that right arm thigh armor is different. It's longer. That, well, it was the, the it currently is longer, but it's a different color. Yeah, it's just a different shape. It's got like the the it's a different shape. Yeah, it almost like is that is that really all that there is this different? Yeah, basically. Hmm. Hmm. Was this your I mean, I mean, to me, Which is good though. Like, why would you want to? No, he's saying this is second season two Mandalorian. Uh, why would you? Why would they keep that one leg piece old and dent it up, and then in next season? I mean, I'm telling you, man, I'm surprised there's not more different because they always want to sell. Yeah, they want to sell. So, Nobody's, I don't think anybody's going to buy a second version of this just for that. Like, there's no way this is going to be what he looks like the whole time. I'm no. telling you, man, they, 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 that's what they do. This will be the beginning. Yep. And then towards the end, he'll do something very different in the old, they'll sell a shit ton of toys. You well, they probably have the, the jet pack. Yeah. You know, jet pack the, there. Yeah. And he true. probably has to remove that cape for the jet pack. So that's true. Push it to the side. Well, yeah, I, I think that's yeah, I think that's that's true. I always forget he has a jetpack. All right. Let me open, let me open Krennic. Um Chris, did you already, you already get Krennic? Yeah, I've had Krennic for a while. Yeah. Did you do you guys see that uh, those prints um I, I, I shared? The the Darth Vader one that looks like from Rebel Sport. Well, you're getting yes. that, right? Now that that I'm finally gonna get. Yeah, but because all, but see, all, all this other shit, uh, the remastering of posters from the original shit, I don't need all that shit. Because by the time I have all that, ain't going to be no way to put no Darth Vader shit up, you see? So, but that will be in Imperial hands. Now, that I guarantee. I'm trying, to find, I'm trying to find it. I've been yeah, searching for an art print that Thor will buy. Oh, actually, I, mean, I, just got, I just got one today. Hold on. 
I bet you it's uh PJ. I bet it's in it's on uh, Sithcast, right? Um. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. I didn't see it. I think I shared. I, bet, I, think I shared it, it in the group. Hold on. Hold on. Well, in in the in our chat. Hold on. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. Now where are they gonna be selling that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I, I think it. that's a San Diego Comic Con thing, isn't it, PJ? I got this today. One second, Thor. I can't see it. Hold oh, on. Oh, no, sorry. I want to make sure I see what you're, looking, what you're putting up. Come on, what is going on? Just trying to see this thing. Uh, Thor, what do you think of that? Uh, that um, that statue you sent me pictures of today um, um oh, oh i like it i knew you'd like it that's why i sent it to you it's gorgeous <laughs> oh yeah this this will be in in, in, in the desktop right. guaranteed <clears throat> that from? that's he, there's this guy that's uh, an artist that's doing i think several different posters i think this one in like in, three in, in three rebel more. that's how he looked in rebels so they wow. made an empire poster of how he looked in rebels so Pretty freaking yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's guaranteed. Yeah, it's a San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So you can only pick it up during the during the con. When yeah. when 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 and where do you have to go to get this? Yeah, um, the website. Oh shit! Hold on, let me get that website for you guys. <laughs> like I think I saved it when it when you, when you put it up. So okay, uh, let, me, let, me know, just, uh, let me just get it so that you match here with the with everyone. That is sweet. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh, obtain yeah, this. Nowhere to put it. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to put that. Believe it. You got room right behind you on your. Uh... Yeah, that's. I mean, you gotta get behind all this shit and move stuff. So. Yeah, you just, uh, you but like, I, I want that to be over there by the by the by the Sith. <laughs> like, hey, I was down in your area again today. I drove down there today. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went down to pick up a couple more helmets to paint up. No wonder Jabba jumped up in the middle of the day and started barking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I sent it to Matt. All right, uh, one second. I uh, also mailed, uh, mailed uh, the doctor something to take care of. A oh, crack. really? Yeah. And um, just mail. I mailed it instead of driving all the way down there. So I went to uh, a dent, a Denton, Odenton, Maryland. Od Odenton. Odenton, okay. Yeah. yeah. Me and my son took a ride. Oh, yeah. Jabba the Mutt. Let's see. So, um, hold on. So, what am I looking at here? Just the the art prints that he makes. It, they're freaking amazing. Yeah, they're right. Oh, wow. So, PJ, do you know how much the Vader one going to be or no? Oh, that's probably going to be about 30, 40 bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's cheap. I mean, most of his stuff is uh, pretty cheap, but. Are, are they limited or? It might be. It Fuck. might be. I think you can get them right now, can't you? It says add to cart. Oh, no. Not, those, not, these, not the, 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 these, you can get these, but not the Vader yeah, one. Yeah, the Vader one's uh, Sandy. Because it, it just got approved uh, by Disney or Lucasfilm. So. so they're licensed, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, um, but if you see some of their like older, like I think there's a Princess Leia somewhere. That one I want to get. That's uh, that's What's nice. It's called. Um, okay, I see the link. Yeah, yeah. Russell Walks illustration. Yeah, it's only twenty bucks. Yeah, so it's not bad. Cool. Yeah, so I mean, twenty-four by thirty-six. Ooh, that's big. <sighs> Yeah, he's got some cool. He's got some cool designs for sure. Yeah, uh, check out his Instagram. Some of his stuff is really nice. I'm telling, right. there's like a there's a Princess Leia one there somewhere. Like it looks really good. I love the solo one. Mm -hmm. Pull that one up, man. It's got the Millennium Falcon and that that alien with the tentacles behind it. Uh, where am I looking? Second one down, second over. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love that. It's cool. It's just not the Millennium Falcon that I. Yeah, yeah I was you know. thinking. I was thinking that too. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say. I know, Chris, you're a big uh, solo guy, so. I love solo. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I love um, it too. 
So how do you how do you guys do you guys have them with the longer cape or the the long um, cape? I have them with the long cape. Oh. Long cape. And you gotta like the cape has so much fabric to it, you gotta like roll it up behind him so that it's it stays like a little more form fitted around him. I watched a posing video on, on him, um, on one of Justin's channels, and you take all the big fabric and kind of like roll it up behind him and you won't even see it and then it'll stay curved to his body. Yeah. That's kind of almost kind of how it is already on mine. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of already done that. Yeah. I was going to say, and you know, for, I think when I did my review, I was like, Oh, I'm going to iron it out. Like whatever. But then like, uh, one of my viewers, like, like messaged me right away. He's like, don't you dare iron that Cape. He goes, that's actually really accurate because apparently her, his wife is like a tailor or whatever. And she was bothered the whole time she was watching the movie that the cape is not like, you know, ironed at all. He's not. Yeah. Yeah. Movie, yeah. So it's actually pretty movie accurate. Well, he's it. not supposed to be iron. He's running around with this damn thing. Like he's yeah. sitting on it and doing all kinds of shit with it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I, the question is, the, the, what I what I'm trying to figure out is, should I put him with my Death Trooper and Shore Trooper, or should I put him with Tarkin? Uh, and, I put him with Death Star Gunner. I put Tarkin, one hundred percent. Tarkin, Tarkin yeah, one hundred percent. So that means he's got to have the long, the longer cape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I no, have no hat, right? No hat. No hat. Yeah. But he, the, the raincoat looks amazing. Yeah, it's it's the poncho. Yeah. I mean. The poncho, yeah. Yeah, Poncho is, is really nice. Yeah, Krennic is, man, he was one of my favorite characters. The guy, the guy showed our uh, Krennic statue today in the prog well, yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. That looked yeah. uh, really good. Does it look good? Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. I, I will find it for you. Yeah. Oh, but hold it before I find it. Let me show you this. So again, it's, it's a, I need to weight it down so it can stop curling, but oh, fuck. Like I got, I got to put the frame on this fucking thing. Yeah, that looks nice, Thor. Yeah. Yeah, that's killer, Thor. Yeah. I ordered it. Yeah, I love that pose by. Mo Actually, I might steal that pose. I like it's that pretty. pose. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice pose. Your boy Django, right there. And Don't then, remind me. Begin was it Palpatine? See Palpatine? Yeah, yeah, that's killer, yeah. man. So. I can't. I can't look at Django anymore, guys. I'm serious. Like, every single fucking time I look at Django, I get disgusted. Like it's sad. Yeah, why, and why, you, why, getting, why you get disgusted? Why don't I? No, because that Hot Toys hasn't released freaking Django. Huh. No, no pre-order status. No nothing. And if they show Django in this San Diego Comic Con again, I'm gonna be pissed. I was like, yo, Wait, they stop have, teasing me and just release the damn thing. If they show so, it this year, they're gonna they're gonna have to put it out. They can't just keep showing it every year and not put it out. You yeah, would, yeah, exactly. I would think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This will be the year, TJ. You watch. This will be the year. Yeah, Please. I don't know, man. And then I gotta wait another another year for it to get it. Ugh. It's like, come on now. Um, how about uh, some of the like the clone troopers that they teased, man? Remember which ones? Um, in New York Comic Con, the regular um, uh, airborne trooper, airborne and the, trooper, the yeah, twelfth guy, yeah, yeah. Hey, we might get those. You never know. I'm expecting to see a whole bunch of Clone Wars hot toys at um, at San Diego. I want Jesse. Yeah. I want. I want Jesse. I want to yeah. see that head sculpt with the bald head and the oh. tattoo on his forehead. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be uh, that actually be really cool. Mm-hmm. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pose this son of a bitch. And BJ, I might be getting that solo one. Damn. Get it. Get it. Planning for future wall space. Yeah, and check out his Instagram, uh, Chris. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize. Um. I didn't realize Krennic uh, had his gun in the holster that way. That's interesting. Yeah. Where it's like the opposite direction where he grabs it with the other hand. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's not. Um, I'll no, show I you. Have, I have him holding it. So. A lot of cowboys did that. Like a lot of cowboy movies, you see him do that. Like have the opposite. Yep. Yeah. I always wondered why they did that shit. I just, I don't think I've seen someone in, in Star Wars do that. No, That's no. Interesting. Um, 
a lot of people are saying Bays first, but I think Darth Tabernacle is right. I want the tank trooper. That's what I want. Ah mm-hmm. oh, man, I want a Bays. I want a Bays. Darth Tabernacle. I love that name. Um. Yeah. So this. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it on the opposite way. It's so interesting. I thought I thought mine would came the wrong way. I was like, what the hell? <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Brian, just to answer your question on the Diamond Selects Mando bus, um, I had mine um, with the release date in June, early June, and for for some reason got pushed back to July, but I haven't had, heard any word on it, so hopefully soon. I really want that bus to come in. Yeah, this thing's killer, man. Both of these, both of these are fantastic figures. Congrats. Yeah. What's up, Thor? And I said, congrats. Yeah, man, yeah. I would have opened them earlier, but you know, all this construction and bullshit that I'm dealing with, it's you know. yeah. You know, one thing I used to when I had my my bathrooms uh, redone. First of all, don't do all your bathrooms at the same time. It is yeah. like the worst thing you could probably do. No shit. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, taking a shower with like a construction light and shit all over the floor. It's the worst. No way, um, dude. Yeah, so we did that like a couple of years ago, and I mean, it was like the worst like month of my life because yeah. Dude, I've when I when I when I um because I lived mm-hmm. in South America for a long time, right? So when we mm-hmm. growing up, we had to take showers a couple times in some really sketchy places, and mm-hmm. they have a shower down there called the Widowmaker. Okay, it's, it's basically the the water, nice. is, the water is heated on the on the shower head so it's it's an electric shower head mm. that heats the water as it comes out so Bad. basically the idea is people get electrocuted all the time because of it so it's pretty effed up okay uh i mean wow yeah jeez. well i'm here i survived uh, yeah well thank goodness oh geez that's yeah uh, the uh, maker, but I, dude. I remember <laughs> like, your widow maker. <laughs> I remember with the uh, when we did our bathrooms, the m- one thing I was so concerned of is the dust, you know, and like I, I put like sh- so much stuff around like yeah. my door to my, my my man cave, yeah, so that like dust doesn't like seep through, and I'm like, you it's know, still, my- it's still impossible, dude. Yeah, there's still, there's still I I did it mo- pretty much everything I could, and there's still like, I still have to come in and dust quite a bit. Um, yeah. You know, I should get the air purifier. Do you have one? Yeah, I have one. That's oh, okay. behind me. See this thing moving around right back here? Oh, okay. Duh. That's the that's Dyson. Dyson one. Yeah, Dyson I like one. it. I love it. Yeah, I need one. I can, I'm in, uh, I'm, you know, we're at, we're, we're not living here currently. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, at least for a while during this thing. And so, um, wherever mm-hmm. I'm at, I can, re- I can get on, on my app and do whatever I need to do with it. Get out of here. Are you serious? Yeah, and it tells me the the quality of the air and everything. It's pretty nuts, man. It's, All right, I'm buying it's, it. It's for reals. Is it expensive? Because I heard this. Yeah, it's not cheap. But I figured, you know, that's that's one of the things I wanted to invest in because I knew I wanted something that worked well. Yeah. And it's a fan. That's I did the other ones weren't fans that I had in mm. here, and so I wanted a fan because my my it gets a little stuffy in here. So. Uh, does it get cold? What do you mean? I mean, is it really cold, like the fan, like the cold no, air? No, but but that's what's cool is you can have it blow out the back. So you can change mm. the direction. So if it's cold, you just have it blow out the back and you don't feel it. Oh, yeah. No, because I was thinking because um, I know Tim has one, the Dyson one, and he yeah. uses that as a as a heater for his man cave. Yeah, they have but, a heater one, yeah. Yeah. So you can't have both. You can't have a heater and a air one. I think they might have one like that. I can't remember. I know th- they have one now. That's worth. I maybe it's worth looking into. That also purifies. Um, I guess formaldehyde. Mm. And I think formaldehyde, when you open things a lot, like new things, mm-hmm. there's formaldehyde in the air because of all the new things you open. And so I thought about getting that, but I was like, eh, yeah, whatever. Just... You mean like when you open a hot toy, there's formaldehyde? Like in apparently, there? I looked it up, and apparently formaldehyde. You most people don't have to worry about it, but if you open a lot of new like electronics or different things like that, I guess they can they can introduce formaldehyde in the air or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's just a gimmick or what, but um, they uh-huh. have one that 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 
filters that out now as well. Yeah, can you imagine like opening a whole bunch of hot toys and like, wait, do I have to worry about like? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like what the hell? I had like, hey guys, I got like a ten hot toy haul. I would that is gimmick. It's a gimmick. Sounds like I would. I would think so. I didn't get the one that, that has that because I was like, no, nah, I don't think I need that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey Matt, put this put this up on the screen right quick, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, the guy showed the uh, first. But he hadn't painted them yet, obviously. But you know, that mm -hmm. looks fan freaking great, man. So you got you know you can do the uh, the one from the beginning of the movie. You can do the. It's coming with two torsos, so. Dude, that mm -hmm. head scope looks pretty damn good. Yeah, well, you know, this is uh, I I uh, I put I, I put in the uh, he's the guy that um, made the Kylo Ren heads. Kylo Ren head. Oh, yeah. okay. It is the yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look too bad, man. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, I bet got, it looks got, even better with the hat on. Yeah, yeah. I, I got I should have doing one of these, doing a Ben uh, a Krennic. I could see that. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I think if they they were gonna do it, they would have did it by now. You know. Mm. Like, it looks great though, Thor. Yeah. So. Like all the all the different wrinkles and all the textures and stuff. There's, there's a reverse gun you were talking about. I'm telling you, man, that's crazy. So, yeah. So. It's cool. Look, looking forward to it. Yeah, looking man. When it. when is that one supposedly coming? I, I guess. I would guess like around November, probably, because he was saying we got couple more payments i think so yeah i don't know it's moving fast and i thought so yeah just so everyone knows that i wasn't this thing is not like it's not like this thing behind me is an air conditioner it's not it's just a fan so mm -hmm. um but it it blows and sucks in air and does all that good shit it's it's really nice yeah. i like it um do you all did thor do you have a, a purifier down there i don't i wanted to get something i mean it, it's it's dust down here but i just go around my air spray cans and hit stuff yeah like, yeah yeah so, yeah. yeah it's a, it's a good it helps i think it's nice it does help um, yeah i was gonna say does it really help i mean i think red wolf is saying he's got three or, three Ryan, or four i ain't got one too he always said it helps so. i think it does man i listen i at least when, when, you, when you look at this the stuff it picks up it, it helps does it have right? a filter you have to clean yeah it has a filter yeah. you have to change you, you have to change a filter every like six months yeah oh six months yeah oh that's it it's yeah it's not bad that doesn't suck that much. I yeah. I'm yeah. guessing the Dyson filters are more expensive though, so you can probably find something that's way cheaper. Okay. I just really like Dyson personally. Um, yeah, um, I, I like Dyson too. I have a Dyson uh, um, vacuum, and I do. Uh, great. And my wife has the Dyson blow dryer, which I use like quite does, often. Does she really? Yeah, it, dude, that thing like it like dries your hair in like a minute. Dude, though, everything they sell is so damn expensive, but so damn good. I love. It. Yeah, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, and then she stopped me from using it because I, I think it, I was just using it too much. Yeah, if you have if you have cats, even if you have dogs, but if you have cats, you have to have an air purifier. Yeah. Do you have cats? Do you have cats? I have dogs. Okay. So I have dogs, but but but, it, but this room specifically, for some reason, this room is dusty. So yeah. I think I have hard drives and computers and stuff running. So. My upstairs mm -hmm. is dusty, and I, I, I have this the close. There's a, a lot of airflow that comes down right through down the steps down into the the furnace back here, but there was a gap at the bottom of my door, so I, I would come down here and like every two or three days there'd be dust, and I would clean it off. So I put a strip down the bottom there, dust is gone, because I have dogs. Mm -hmm. Like it's all the they they're dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I'm looking forward to when I get like Maji cases in here. Not that I'm not gonna have to dust anymore, but it'll help. It should help. Yeah. yeah. Which is gonna be nice. Um I let it's like ink to a printer. <laughs> yeah, after a while I forget about it. Yeah. Um my my dice is dice is the way to go. Great deals on Black Friday. Yeah, they do have actually good deals. Yeah. I um, was thinking of I, I really hope that Dyson makes their own like uh what's that called? Those things that freaking clean your floor. I can't think right now. Oh, um, do you mean uh, the they're like robot? Uh, yeah, I robot or something like that. Like yeah, Roomba. yeah, yeah. Roomba. Yeah, well, I want. Yeah, I want one. Of those. Roomba. Yeah. Yeah, I hope Dyson makes something like that because they will kill it if they make something like. They dude, they're they're um, all their freaking vacuums. Everything one I've used is fantastic. 
and it yeah. actually works and it works for a long time. Yeah. So um, I agree. I know I agree. my, my brother-in-law, um, they don't like, they don't like getting expensive, um, like appliances of any kind. And, um, oh, so, you gotta. so they, in the time that we had one Dyson, I think they went through like maybe 10 vacuums. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy yeah, how I, many vacuums they've had. I've been yeah. living in this house for eight years now. And, um, before we moved in the first, the only, um, uh, my wife's aunt actually bought us a Dyson. It was like three, four hundred bucks. It's still working to this day, like perfectly, like yeah. no problems. You know, easy to clean. Red Wolf. I have, I've heard the Shark is actually really good too. The Shark. Yeah. Okay. I've heard a, yeah, it's a nice vacuum too. Yeah. Now, I don't know how this turned into a vacuum conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay yeah. We got one more comment about a vacuum, and then we'll move on. Yeah, Ruma. Red Wolf's last one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Better run over oh, the dog. <laughs> that, that would make me throw up. Oh, that's disgusting, uh, dude! I haven't seen someone write "caca" in a. Caca, <laughs> caca, yeah. Is, like I don't know why, whoever invented that name, but "caca" is just like it matches. It's the, fantastic. Yeah, it's like oh, dude, "caca." It's such a disgusting. Yeah, that's word. exactly what comes out of you. Yeah, exactly. Matches that that for for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and guys in, in the chat, just let us know if you want to want us to talk about anything else. We're just hanging out, so um, yeah. yeah so PJ, but what else do you have coming in? Me, um, nothing. Uh, I mean, besides the Joker, nothing until Hot Toys releases some stuff. You know, uh, dude, that Joker is gonna be amazing. Oh, dude, I am. I haven't been this excited for a statue in a long time. Like, I cannot wait to see it, oh, dude. Even dude. even the sculpted hair version is. Yeah, the sculpted looks great. Amazing. I'm just, I'm just really see the thing is here's the you know like for me I'm just excited for all these companies like coming out like with these kind of statues where, um, <laughs> uh, you know where you know like. Because a lot of us are Hot Toys collectors, right? Except me enough you know, for Thor. But in, in the most part, like, like products like these are are like grabbing some of those Hot Toys collectors just because there's some relationship. I mean, you're getting rooted hair, you're getting amazing tailoring, beautiful portrait. I mean, that sounds like a Hot Toy to me, right? So Honestly, yeah, I've Thor, do you have do you have pictures of the Balrog? <clears throat> Honestly, PJ, uh, I, I, I do. I've been okay. waiting for a good hot, a good uh, Heath Ledger Joker, and that is the best one. I just yeah, I, I Dude, can't. It's, it's seven hundred really seven hundred and sixty dollars for the sculpted version, right? The sculpted right. hair version. Do you know that's the same price as the Hot Toys going that's going for right now on eBay? Yeah, it's like, unbelievable. That's a good price. Is it a thousand for the uh, for the hair for the rooted? Well, uh, when it, they first released it, it's like nine hundred bucks, so plus shipping. Yeah. We should, yeah, like it's about a thousand. It's really That's not that bad for that. For so, one third scale, like, no. mm -mm. not bad. And you know, did you guys see that um, that new company that I think I showed you? I I linked it on on the yeah. on the stole, chat. Stole Hot Toys guy. Yeah, they stole Hot Toys guy. And he's making the the Joker, like the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Mm -hmm. So it's like one of those is like, um, are Hot Toys sculptors like leaving Hot Toys and doing like statue stuff now? And is that going to be concerning for Hot Toys collectors? You know what I'm saying? Nah, they'll still get they'll still get their stuff, man. I think it's I think it's fantastic for for statue people for uh, everyone mm -hmm. that does collect statues because is that a statue that he's doing or is he doing another do uh uh it's one? another statue yeah it's a new statue company this looks awesome you know the whip is so much better so much better yeah head and shoulders better and it all lights up right yeah it does do you think is did did do we know if it's a if it's an actual is it a batteries or is it a switch is it plugged in do we know I hope I it's a plug for that kind of money I don't know what it is yeah, but it has like flickering LEDs on his back and I don't know if the the one on his the whip will be flickering I'm wondering if Steve ordered this because it today right it came out 
Ferrari? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said he was. Where the hell is I would, Steve? Is he, I would imagine. Is he's he on, trying he's to on, haggle with the, the do-back uh, seller? He's on vacation. He's on vacation. Is that why he's not here? He's that guy's in Canada, right? He's he, either, I thought he's in like Montana or something like that. He's he's driving with his family somewhere. Okay, he can't go to Canada. They're not letting any Americans in right now. No, I yeah. mean the guy who's selling the the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was he's like, okay. Canada. Yeah, he's in Canada. So did you I, did I you go, message him, PJ? Uh, I I would, but it's just so much, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like you know, like with uh, the Millennium co Cockpit coming out, I'm like, oh, I hear you. I, I have to say these these Prime One Lord of the Rings statues are just the best looking things. You're right, you're right, Chris. They're some of the best statues that I think I've ever seen. Um, yeah, easy. Like the, yeah. The, the 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 freaking um, what's it called? What's his name? Um, Aragon. Aragon is oh, it's unbelievable. It is. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, did you see uh, the video um, on the Balrog when he, they're in, in Prime One's uh, channel where it was rotating? Yep. And the the flame was flickering. Like I was like, "What that is, is this? Sick. Do you know, uh, Thor? Do you know if is this like one tenth? They're saying it's it might be smaller than one tenth because uh, 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 we'd have to tell by uh, Gandalf actually. Cause yeah, like one fifteenth or something. Like yeah, that. so I'd, I'd have to like because they're saying it's no scale. So who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Our rock is so damn big. So, yeah. But Damn, that Balrog is like, oh my god, dude! And it's, apparently, it's like, it, it's like as tall as it is wide. Like the thing is like massive. You shall not pass on this pre-order. <laughs> that back, the back looks awesome with the wings and the tail and the <laughs> flames coming down. Man, that's so cool, dude. Oh, is is the uh, comparison with the EX? So. Uh, Lord of the Rings collectors got a lot to look forward to. Yeah, fi I mean, you know, finally, because they've been waiting a wet weather. Weather takes forever sometimes. So, dude, I, I would be, I'd be bummed, man. I'd be bummed if I was Steve, because having to shell out that kind of money on top of everything else, man. I will, do do the the tip the flames on the tips of the wings. Do they light up too? Go back one. Just the tips. Do they light up? Yeah, up on the up on the wings. Do those light up too? Good question. And and how well does the whip light up? Does it light up all the way through? Or yeah, just... ch check the video. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't think you get flagged, but you could um, share that. I mean, look up that video. Did he does put it... the whip in? I don't think he put. Yeah, the whip. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think they, they have the whip version. No, too. they weren't showing the exclusive at that. At that no, oh, they weren't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sword. Yeah. Dude, that base is sick too. I'm telling you, man, this thing is. Did Aragon go up for pre order or just this? Just this. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then um, Rob Soul says, What kind of Star Wars stuff will you be showing? Uh, we'll be showing it's online Comic Con. It's a good question. I think we're going to do a Rogue One 6 either next week, probably next week, maybe. Um, PJ. So sometime. Okay. Um, we'll do a live. We'll do a live. We're gonna do a live. Uh, obviously, they're gonna be live from now on. But I think we're gonna do a Rogue One Six where we go oh, cool. with uh, group therapy coming. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we want to do it the opposite week of group therapy. There just hasn't been any Star Wars stuff, hmm. right? There um, hasn't been a reason to do it. So we have the RS helmets to talk about. We can talk about some posters, but there's not really any hot toys to talk about. So that's why we'll talk about this. We'll we'll talk about what's gonna go up. I think um, we should probably do it next week because honestly. The week after, they're already it's already Comic Con, right? Uh huh. So yeah. we might want to do this next week, and then. Do you want to do Rogue One and an unboxing, or two separate? Separate. But well, who's got stuff you, coming you, in? Uh, PG or uh, after we get off, you need to hear this this story from freaking, um, from Chris. It's unbelievable. Um, he's got oh. something coming in next week that Thor, you'll be happy to hear. <laughs> yeah. It's un it's unbelievable this story. Um and so it's coming in next Wednesday. Yes. Chris? Yes. Yeah. Oh pe the the Pemerica says, Oh my gosh, man, weather takes forever. I work at weather too. <laughs> no way, no way with Pemerica, really? That's crazy. That's awesome. See, I see, I thought I wasn't imagining because weather, I mean, like they were releasing some Lord of the Rings stuff and then it just kind of like 
Dude, you think know. you think Weta would put out the best, without question, mm-hmm. the best Lord of the Rings stuff? That's that's what I would think. But Prime yeah. One is effing destroying it right now. Yeah, but yeah. Might, might just not have the sculptors to do it. You know? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I know, man. I I just Weta is so freaking good. I just I don't know. Where's, where's Prime One from? Are Japan, they from Japan? Japan. 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 Okay. Tokyo or something? Yeah, Japan. Japan, um, Japan. <laughs> what I was gonna say is that, like, dude, like, all these companies that are doing like Queen Studios from like Asia, right? Um, you know, Prime One, J- you know, Japan. Then you got the other company, this new company is coming out, and they're making that that Joker, dude. Like all these like statue companies that's coming from Asia, like, man. Their sculptors are amazing because they're like sculpting like yep. the porches like with great likeness, man. Like it's crazy. I it's just crazy. hope that like one day one of these companies can pick up a Star Wars license and we can finally get like some awesome freaking statues with so no, no. No. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, no, no. You just might get it. It'll be way Dude, too- I, I want to well, get it. Here's the question I have. Here's the question I have. So mm-hmm. XM can make some Star Wars, right? Yeah. They're supposed, yeah. supposed to be able to make all of them, but they just, you know. Yeah. So, know why is it, so can Prime 1, can they just do, they can't do that? Same thing? That might be what it is. I didn't even think about that. Maybe XM has a Star Wars license for that part of the world. So that's why Prime One doesn't. So Prime have One it. can't do it. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Or maybe or if Prime One gets like a one third scale license or something. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, that that they can make. Yeah, well, because yeah. here's the thing, and and from this is from when I when I was talking to uh, someone in regards to like, you know, with Queen Studios, what they got coming up, and a whole bunch of other companies, and you know, he was telling me that uh, one of the main reasons why Star Wars is you're not seeing a lot of Star Wars statues, maybe, is because the Star Wars license is so expensive. It's so expensive. And the return is not that, you know, not that great. So, I mean, they could only do so much. So, I, yeah. I don't know. It's just so, one of those, like, you know, maybe that's why Sideshow, I, I mean, I'm just assuming here, I'm not saying, you know, anything, that's, there's truth behind this, but maybe that's why Sideshow is not making as much or, or charging super crazy prices for like a one-fifth scale statue. I don't know. Yeah. So Pemrica's, um, I, want, I keep wanting to say Paprika. Um, so Pemrica's yeah. is, says, yeah, bro, I'm, new, I'm in New Zealand. Uh, he works on the digital side. Matt, I agree with you. We don't have the sculptors. We're uh, We're good for movies. Definitely good for movies. Um, uh, th- it, see, that's cool that he. I didn't know because actually, I know the Prem Rick has have, they had their own channel, by the way. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, check it out. I mean, he, did, he I saw some of his unboxings of Prime One stuff, and uh, checked out his channel. Really, really nice channel. Um, how, much, but, how much does it cost to get stuff over to New Zealand? I wonder. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, uh, but New Zealand is. I would love to vi- visit that country, man. I know it's expensive to get stuff to California. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're just lucky we have some other ways of getting, like you know, hopefully sideshow. We can we could get the stuff through that. Yeah, but can I ask you guys? Can you imagine Queen Studios making freaking Star Wars stuff? No, I cannot. Like, like rooted hair Princess Leia freaking statues and rooted hair Hans and rooted um, hair. You're talking. Um, um, nice. what's his name gets all that Queen Studio stuff, right? No, uh, I'm not about the, the bus. I'm talking about like statue, like actual. No, what I'm saying uh, doesn't Spec Fiction get all that stuff? They do, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spec gets a lot, gets all the Queen Studio stuff. But I just can't imagine like if Queen Studios got the license for Star Wars, yeah, and starts pumping out like Star Wars stuff. And, you know, uh, you know, like they just announced that uh, Christian Bale Batman. And that has rooted hair, so I just I would it would blow my mind, dude. dude. I would that would be amazing. See the the Christian Bale with rooted hair. I I just don't understand. Like, I don't know if that's worth it, mm. right? Like like there's not much going on there. No. The, the Joker I totally understand. Yeah, but 
the Christian Bale one, it's like it's like a little bit of fuzz on top of his head. Like I don't really get why you would want. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, just I guess an a, a appeal. You know, I don't know. I mean, are you going to go for that one, PJ? Are you going to go for the root here? Uh, so I wasn't. See, I just love Heath Ledger Joker. I'm not a big Christian Bale Batman fan. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, like they look freaking awesome together right like you pair them up together and they they recreate that whole like inter inter interrogation scene so amazing um i'm uh, yeah i'm probably gonna pick it up (laughs) just because like just to complete it you know and uh, that'll probably be my only dc pieces like i have in my collection yeah yeah that's that's a good i mean that's pj you're really (laughs) <laughs> straying, you're straying off the path, my my friend. I mean, Thor was already straying off the path with the alien. Yeah, but hey. yeah, not that far. Know, not that far. I mean, you know, once in a while, right? Like, you know, it's just one of those things that you just still. You, I mean, you don't love it as much as Star Wars, but you know, you would love to have it in your collection just, just because you know it's yeah. it's just an awesome uh, statue. So. I don't know. Yeah, man, I that's it looks amazing. I, I I don't blame you for for picking something like that up. Yeah, very jealous. How about you, uh, Chris? What happens if they start making like MCU like statues and no, you're not a big no. They no, will. Right? They'll awesome. make the MCU stuff, right? They'll make them. Yeah, but I I I mean, I'm a big X Men fan, and I've nothing. None of those have really drawn me in, so. I think I'm good. Like I'll stick with the Hot Toys Marvel, but if I was to get statues, it would be Star Wars, no doubt about it. Gotcha. Or, like I would love to do Aliens and Predator, but if I'm going to, I'm going to go the route, the Prime One route. But I don't feel like mm-hmm. paying that much for those. They're like gotcha. three times the price of three times the price of a, a sideshow one. It's up on stay of the night. Sorry, don't yell. Okay. Oh, Chris, is that your is that your son? Yep. Yep. What a yeah. nice moment. Stay at his friend's house. Yeah. That's cool. Um yeah. hey Chris, that uh that Gamorian looks nice behind you. He's very nice. Yeah, I like him a lot. He's become one of my favorites in the whole room. Yep. Man, looks looks so good, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I put out the second head sculpt. I'd like it too much not to put that second head sculpt out. Yeah. And I, I, I was gonna say, you know, like uh Going back to like, you know, like straight off the path and stuff, you know, like, you know, for me, I wouldn't have straight off the path if I wasn't able to move into the like, you know, spread some of my my collection into the movie room. If if that didn't happen, I would probably be like just probably unloading on all my Marvel stuff. And just yeah. It and it, and it is cool, though. It is cool if, you, if you're doing an actual movie room to have different types of pieces in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's that's my goal. My 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 next goal is to find really cool movie um, posters, uh, maybe some Mondo posters or something to to put it on the wall. Uh, I was thinking going like all like MCU and stuff, but I was like, yeah, it's a movie room. Like I would like a little bit of different things here and there. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I'll take a picture of my movie room. Maybe you guys could help me out with. Um, helping me decide what to put up in the walls and stuff. What else okay. do you have in there? Do you have anything else planned to go in there already? Um, well, I, I actually haven't done anything. See, when I first moved to the house, I was like, okay, this is my movie room. This is what I'm going to do to it. And I just, I bought the TV, I bought the Blu-ray player, you know, and got some video games set up down there. Uh, I have some of my uh, Hasbro Black Series stuff there. And dvds blu-rays and that was it like i was like i never really hooked up that room but now i'm like since i moved down down there i'm like all right well i'm getting that ak tv in the fall and i would like to make this look nice so when people come over watch movie and stuff like we're chilling you know or yeah that's cool that's cool but right now i have like uh, some of my marble pieces there um and i'm looking to add a joker to be added there so alien will go down there predator i'm gonna switch it over down there so 
Red Wolf, that's called multitasking. And I usually am not good at it. So, um, but I'm able to do it every now and then. So, um, <laughs> so PJ, yes, decided to go for the RS Boba Fett helmet. Rock. Yeah. Um, I, you know, for me, I was, and I was talking to my, my, my friend Jay, and he's a big, like, Boba Fett guy, right? And he's got a whole bunch of helmets. So I asked him about, like, the RS. Uh, Prost Masters and stuff, and you know, he kind of went with um, with that advice I was pretty much thinking in my head anyway. Like where um, our prop masters like go for like the like the unpainted version, yeah. Because at least you could say like this is like the helmet um, that spawned off of, like the first generation, you know, uh, mold, and you know, have other ones made from other makers, and then just you know have that there. So. Yeah, dude, that honestly, like the more I see, the more I see their paint job, the more I'm like, yep. Like they, they did such a damn good job on that paint job. Yeah. And, uh, and the guy, same guy that's doing all of, is doing that did that one is doing all of them. So nice. I'm excited, man. It's just not cheap. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's expensive. So, um, perfect. It's a tough, it is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. so. There's a lot of there's a lot of controversy going around right now with the Boba Fett stuff. Really? Uh, yeah, with like yeah. not with RS, with um with other people like Wasted Fett and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Machine Craft replicas and um, some of these other ones. It's interesting. There's a lot of controversy, but what's the uh, controversy? Um, it's basically that, um, I guess Gino, the guy that that it's kind of it's i don't want to bore anybody but it's basically the guy that 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 casted all the original like the one that rs bought from them and you know some of these other ones apparently some dude got one and three he got three he got three of them and gave them out to people to some of his friends and they're now recasting off of those and and so like like wasted fed machine craft um some of these other ones are actually like you know, actually recast off, off, off of recasts and stuff. And it's, and it's hard to, it's hard to trace back where they're coming from, you know, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's, there's just a lot of people, it's really kind of confusing, but, um, but yeah, there's some controversy on that side of things, but there's um, like a slew of lineage. just like from the original mode, I guess. Yeah. There's just like, you know, it goes gen two, gen three, gen four, gen five, you know, it starts going yeah. down. And it's hard to tell, I guess, where things are coming from. So it's, it's, you know, that's why the, the RS one is so good is, you know, exactly where it's coming from kind of a thing. And, mm -hmm. um, There's you no can trace it back. So, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Um, Can't wait for that to come out. That's that. Oh man. I'm excited too, man. I'm really yeah. excited. Hey Thor, um, I, I think I asked you this before, right? Like, uh, you know, how come you never got a, a Vader helmet? I just, I don't know, man. It's just now. Nah, it's like, I, th <laughs> I think what it is is like, if I want to pay that much for it, I kind of want it to be like steel. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I'm feeling in this plastic and it's, they want like eight hundred bucks, I'm like. I don't, yeah, that always. Why don't you go for like the the EFX one? The EFX one is like three hundred bucks. I mean, I mean, if you can find one, but is it plastic? Uh, I think so. Yeah, nah, guys, nah, bro. No? <laughs> no. Come nah, on, bro. Bro. you need a bigger helmet in your collection. Mm, like you yeah, I mean, I got a little porcelain one. <laughs> it's over there, but, you know. Yeah, but um. Yeah, or, I mean, or, or the Vader hilt. I got the hilt. I got the saber right up there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got to. I need to get some more hilts. I'm, 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 I'm kind of wanted to wait until, to, to, until like Disney opens up again. I don't want to. Yeah. You know, I don't want to eBay. I don't want to get them at the actual park. They're yeah. Is it open? What was that, Chris? They're a lot more expensive at e on eBay. Yeah, they're they are. All the price, and you can get um, them. I think Disney World opened recently, and I think I don't know about Disneyland. I think it's opening mid July, like soon. Um, and so, yeah, man, I I don't know when we'll go back though. We don't have summer tickets. We have to wait until 
like end of August. Oh, there you go, Thor. <laughs> that's killer. I, I did uh I did pay off interest, so that's that's good news. Oh, that I bet that felt good. Yeah, so she off the books, so we just uh wait do you know when, when do you what do you think that one's gonna drop? Probably September, October, yeah, something like that. So, you, I, I I'd say September. What a nightmare that's gonna be for me. Nightmare? Right, yeah, I don't. I don't. Have, I have that one on order. I don't have it paid off. I. I don't. And I don't have any payments made on it. So I have to. Ooh, actually yeah, that's a nightmare. Pay that one. <laughs> on this other thing I'm dealing with. So yeah, that's pretty bad, man. Not good. Not good. Let's see how many more payments I got. Now I want to. I want to pay off the royal guards. So that's next project. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, got, I got. And I got two of them. So that's like. 1k <laughs> another I stimulus three payments yeah. the last ones in september okay yeah for for, yeah. for for ventures for ventures yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah i'm telling you sideshow better hit us with a bunch of star wars stuff this uh con if they don't i'm gonna be so i think i i listen i i think we're gonna get a couple mythos um i think we'll get some mando stuff Minim, at, minimum of mythos, at least one mythos, I think. At least, actually, speaking yeah. of Mando stuff, the child's supposed to be dropping pretty soon in August, I think. Is it said August, know, September, October? Something like I know that. I'm, yeah. I'm making payments on it, but I don't know. That That is a good question. Um, I want to look that up actually. Um, yeah, yeah, it should be coming pretty soon. I mean. I haven't gotten that email that gave us that gives us the, uh, you know, the uh, I guess uh, the progression. Yeah, with that one, we'll get an actual like they'll do like a what's it called? What do they do? Like an unboxing of some sort, and then yeah, but no progress update though from you know because remember they were doing that with the with the emails they'll send you emails like okay now we have this in production you know or. I'm looking yeah, forward to getting that. One. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's August through November. Who knows? Yeah, but yeah, it's also they're they're shipping in batches, so whoever got it like that first day, so it's true. You know, it'll be interesting to see. Which was not, I didn't get it the first first day. I got it like a couple days after. I think. I'm sure, they're very yeah. anxious to get that out, though. I don't. I don't think they're going to delay it much, if at all. Yeah, they want their money. Yeah, you think, would, yeah, you think they'd want to get that out of the out the door for sure. They yeah. want to. They want to be like the first to have it out. Did they announce the edition size yet on that thing? Usually, if they announce the edition size, then you would know, like it's close to almost being done. No edition size right now. Um, well, bro, well, I, we got we got a long way to go. Is that what they do? Do they wait that long for edition size? Yeah, because they kind of figure out how, how much they're they're making, uh, okay. depending upon pre-order. So, um, and then they'll start shipping them out. Okay, that is that the same with the Rancor? They haven't come out with us edition size of that one either. Uh, they did. They did delayed it for some reason. So there's six hundred of them. Six hundred, yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a bum. That one I have paid off. That one I'm excited for. Um, yeah, so. I think it's because. Uh, I don't know why they they delayed it, but maybe Porter sixty nine kind of took a hit in the factory. I don't know. We never know, right? So because it, it was supposed to be coming out this month or something in June or July, so to push it back all the way back to was it August to November or something like that. So yeah, yeah I can't wait to get that thing in. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but. You know, I also don't know where I'm going to put the freaking Millennium Falcon. No, I freaking yeah, I hear you on that. I have no idea. Man, you got a lot of big items coming. I know, so stupid. You have so many big items coming, and you already have a bust. And <laughs> oh, uh, I still haven't heard about Leia and Wicca and PJ reviewed them a month ago. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. You know why it takes so damn long? Um, who's got that coming in here? No. For us, yeah. No. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You're, no. you're thinking of not keeping it, uh, Matt. I, I'm not. I'm thinking of not keeping it, honestly, more because 
like I said, sacrifices have to be made, and oh, I feel like that's it's so I can, wicked. I know, but I feel like that's one that I can I can swing the axe on, man. <laughs> and it's and it's a decent enough bet, a bit of money that like, it, you know, I can put that towards what I need to put it towards. What yeah. we created a monster. Well, actually, Thor, you created a monster. It is I've what got, I do. I've got other things coming <laughs> in. Chris, you're not getting that Leo Wicked? No. I, never gotcha. heard it. I thought about it for momentarily when I had um I have uh I was gonna do all the layers, but then I pre ordered Bespin and I canceled it. So that was yeah. it. Can I ask you guys something though? You know, in terms of hot toys, like aren't you guys getting tired of pe of hot toys reusing the same head scope over and over again? Um, it de depends, yeah. I mean like look, Leia I think I'm so tired of her like looking into the void of space. <laughs> like, like she just doesn't look like she has a soul. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like compared to these guys, uh, you know, I just, it's just so different. Yeah. You know? Cause I was, you know, when I reviewed that war machine, right, it's the same head sculpt as they, the first, first war machine. Yeah. And like, I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, Really? Are you kidding me? It's like getting a car with the same engine over and over again. You know, it's like it's a form. Well, you know. So I, let's look at let's look at let's look at um, War Machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else are you gonna do with his face? I mean, you're not gonna make him have a smirk. You're not gonna make him have an angry face. You're not gonna make him big teeth like Ant Man. Was, I mean, does it really matter? I mean, but do you feel like you're getting jip? I mean, at that point, when she just would go, you know what? <clears throat> it's the same portrait. Give me something else. Or, like, don't give me a portrait. I'll save money in the long run. No, I don't, I, look at, I don't look at it that way. Like, okay, let's say, let's say, like, Leia. Okay, what are they going to do? They have, you know, different hairstyles. Please. I'm looking at, at, like, different outfits, different scenes, different not different head sculpts. I don't want a different. If if this is a really good head sculpt, why would I want them to change? I it? I I hear that. I think I personally would like to see some variation in the head sculpt. Not yeah. a completely different head sculpt, but like I'd like to see her maybe looking in a different direction mm -hmm. or or something well, like something something different. Just just I because like I, I don't know. I don't like when they're looking in a different direction. Okay. Because then you're 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 pretty much limited to one way of tilting their head. Honestly, I think they should have purrs in every hot toy. Yeah, they should. Oh, yeah. Every single yeah. hot toy. Yeah. Yeah, for for me it, it's like if they could do it with other figures <clears throat> like with Harley and you know, like Harley, how why does she get to have different head sculpts or per portraits? And we got Leia who is just still staring into the void of space, you know, like what's going on? Like and with War Machine, like, okay, with Ant-Man, there's three different portraits. Technically, we got the Civil War, you got the first one, and and now the smiling portrait. Robert Downey Jr., how many portraits does that guy have with every release of, you know what I'm saying? Do you want a smiling uh, War Machine, though? I mean, he's got smirks in, in some of the things. I mean, I just want something different. It doesn't have to be like big, huge, major smiling differences. But it's just like, it makes you like, you know, because I pretty much had almost all the War Machine except for the second one. And when I got that War Machine and I unboxed the most recent one and I looked at it, that portrait, I'm like, I feel like I was getting gypped, you know, like, you know, like 360 bucks bucks for this, right? Not a lot of not a lot of accessories, and then it's the same portrait. Yeah, I mean, at some point you're gonna be like, okay, enough is enough. You gotta stop reusing the same portrait, especially if like, you know, you're like, I mean, with Iron Man, you, you don't feel that way because you get a different portrait every single time. You know, can you imagine they use reuse the same portrait for the Mark eighty five? Like, you'd be pissed. Well, and I think I think I think this is the the bigger problem is that you see prices going up, yeah. And you see like you see some of them, you know, some of the other stuff that they're they're kind of like, uh -huh. you know, um, cheapening, you know, give, giving us some cheap stuff on, and um, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I if if you're gonna pay that kind of price, they should have multiple head sculpts, um, or or the purrs system in in all their their heads, right? Like, um, you know, let they, us let us control how they look, you know, yeah. if that's the problem. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, a purrs pur system is not gonna help when you have veneers, right? For like <laughs> Ant-Man, like that's not gonna help the figure. Do they yeah. only do pur uh, purrs on the Lex figures? Yeah, on DX. Yeah. DX figure, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like the Hulk, saying, Gladiator yeah. Hulk has it. Um, does Thanos have it? I don't remember. No, he doesn't have no. it. I don't think so. Yeah. But I was going to say, like, imagine Thor, like, if they reused the same portrait for statues. I mean, like, that would be a huge uproar. They did on that Chewbacca. The old and the new one look exactly the same. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that. Yeah. And how many people, like, were pissed off about that. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, so. that's that's yeah. It's it's just kind of annoying. I mean, I get it. I get it if it's going to bring the price down, and you know, you're gonna you're gonna be or you're gonna be able to add more accessories or something like that. But it doesn't seem that's the case. Um, it seems like it's just saving them on you know making the damn thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. Just I I don't know. Like I was cool with it with War Machine Mark IV, the Infinity War version. And I was like, all right, cool. They gave us a head sculpt. And then this came out, and I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, it's the same one. It's the same one from, like, War Machine Mark One. I. I know. And how? And when did that War Machine Mark One come out? Like, five years ago? Five, six years ago? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so. Do you have any more War Machines, or just that one? I had the War Machine Mark One. I skipped on two. I had three, four, and six. So but you still but, have all of those? No, nah, I sold them. <laughs> well, Are you an Iron Patriot? Uh, yeah, almost I could get it. I, I think that looks really awesome. And plus, they got the actual full portrait now, which they probably just added like the backside of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I had to look at that, that portrait. It looks different though, in, in pictures. So James C uh, tuning in from uh, Sydney, Australia. What's up, James? Pretty cool. Oh, What's James, up, James? I, you. I think that's him. We got a lot of people from Australia, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think Elvis is from Australia. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah uh -huh. for sure. I think I think it's a good, probably a decent time for them to to watch right now. I, I would imagine. Yeah, I wonder what time it is there. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it seems like it seems like they can tune in at, at this time. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, man, we got to. I'm looking forward to that freaking Rogue Squad Rogue Squadron game now. I just noticed the uh, um, Thor's son, uh, name, Pink Seven. <laughs> well, uh, also another oh, yeah, question: dude. Would you guys start start collecting the, uh, Star Wars vehicles? I know Steve so, has. So, Chris and I have talked about this. If um, I if 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 Yost from Jazz Inc. was was start, started making vehicles like a master replica style like mm -hmm. really really quality um yes i probably would and yeah. um i'd be really excited about it at the current the way it's currently sit like the, the the way it is right now where yos is making stuff and it's like resin mm -hmm. you know stuff like that i don't think i'd want to go down that route very far i'll tell you um, what though, i really like that uh batman 66 cars he put up yeah. today that looked Wait, I've always loved that car. It's just a lot of this stuff is too big, right? I I can't get multiples of a lot of these big things. If he was, if they made them smaller, like the master replica stuff, some of that stuff was smaller, but um, man, a little bit. You maybe you, you keep buying big stuff though. I know, dude. <laughs> it's a big problem, guys. <laughs> it's a really big problem. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna get to the point where I put up my big Magi case setup, and it's gonna be like, well. It's full. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that, like now, what do I do? Yeah. Gotta get rid of this thing and put another module case in. That's what I gonna. What's gonna have to happen? Yeah. So it's twelve forty-five in the day in the in the afternoon there. Okay. Yeah, two forty-five in New Zealand. Pretty cool. I would love to visit New Zealand, man. That's no, right. Cool. Sarah. I mean, like judging from like the Lord of the Rings movies, you're like, oh my gosh, dude! Like that's. Amazing, yeah. I was saying, hope we get a speeder bike for a uh, patrol trooper from Jazz Inc. Yeah, there's um, yeah, there's a lot of people that want that. I, 
I don't like the like it looks like a hunk of concrete he's riding on, and I kind of don't like that. Um, but I know people want it, so it'd be kind of cool if you guys got it. I really want that blue speeder. Yeah, that looks the, cool. the Han the Han Solo speeder at the beginning. I really really like that. Yeah, I want I want the swoop bike, you know, from the Mandalorian. Um, and you know, Anakin rode that that swoop bike in uh, Episode Two. Um, when so he was going to go and kill. Did Dooku uh, ride it too, or is it a little different? I think it might be Dooku's might be a little different. Okay. Um, but the swoop bike, oh, dude, I love that. that dude, I tell you, I tell you, if if Jazz Inc makes a snow speeder, that that sideshow snow speeder is just going to go even more through the roof. Because that thing is already through the roof. Yeah, that would be a hard thing for me to pass up on, dude. Like that I, would be amazing. I, I mean, I don't really want to get something that big and put it in here, but that'd be hard to say no to. It wouldn't be that big, though, would it? Yeah, it would be bigger than the cockpit. Would it? Yeah. Yeah. A, a wider. Could be uh, wider. Maybe wi wider. Yeah, it'd be wider. Yeah, yeah. Because it's two people, it would be wider. Yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah, I, it's definitely one he can make, though. He's talked about it many, many times. Yeah, he has talked about it. That and a Tie Fighter. Yeah. I tell you what, that Falcon is going to be unbelievable. That cockpit. Yeah, I can't wait for it. It's coming soon. Oh, it it's is coming soon. soon. It's coming in August, and we'll do a yeah. we'll do an unboxing for that as well. But um, that thing is going to be a freaking beast. Yeah. Um, I don't think the paint job's going to be amazing, to be honest. But I think um, I think the What's inside inside that matters. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. No, I don't think too many people are ever going to notice the outside. Yeah, guys, that's going to be that's going to be killer. Um, Thor is the next thing you have coming in in the Alien. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. yeah so when's it coming in, Thor? Uh, the guy said early August. So. I'm just like, I, ship? yeah. He, I mean, this guy, the way he does it is it, until it shows up in the U.S., uh, we don't get tracking because Taylor ordered Boba Fett from him, so so uh, he doesn't got any. I, I'm guessing they both on the same ship or bin or whatever the hell it is, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll find out when it when it comes, but you know, I ordered some more IKEA. K likes it so I can make some more. Uh, Actually, have you yeah. been to IKEA recently? Because man, I, I heard in New well in New Jersey, the line has been out the. Nah, the I didn't. I didn't go because when I went online, they didn't have any K likes in stock, so I just ordered it. So I just yeah, you know, I ain't bother going. Oh, okay, you haven't delivered. Yeah, but it ain't coming till August the seventh. They said I don't know what's. I, I've never. Had anything delivered for my kid because I just always went and got it. So yeah, yeah. I yeah. But you try to order a Kalax on Amazon, they want like a hundred and twenty bucks just for one Kalax. You know, oh, hell, and, that's, and a, that's the price of a Kalax. No, a Kalax is thirty five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they jack the price up for like people that don't know though. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah. So notified. Do we respond to comments on YouTube? Is that what you're saying? Like, like. Not live comments. Um, sometimes we probably need to do better at that. Um, I always, I always think Steve's gonna do that, and then I, so I kind of leave some of them. But yeah, I don't think he gives a shit. So I gotta, I'm probably gonna have to go. Through I think you know, I, I think you know, I think it's hard to respond to live comments, especially when you have a panel. I think uh, responding to live comments during a live stream by yourself is easier, you know, because that's what you're concentrating on the whole time. Yeah. People. For sure. You for mean sure. like typing them or actually the typing them or actually like talking about the comment when when somebody posts it? I think he's talking about comments, like other comments on YouTube or you know what I mean, like below the videos. Um, oh, we need to do, okay, gotcha, we need to gotcha. do better at that. We don't we don't respond enough to those. So we respond to a lot of them. To a lot of them, tonight. we talk okay. a lot. We put up a it lot. Depends. I think it depends on the videos. Uh, yeah. I think oh, he's saying, talking yeah. about live comments. Yeah, we try. We try. It's yeah, like we don't I, always get to them. Yeah, I think, like I said, it's hard unless you're uh, doing a, a live stream by yourself and you're just strictly answering questions. Uh, obviously, it, it, we do the best we can, I think. I mean, if we yeah. respond to all the comments, 
I think we would never get to the topic that we're talking about. Yeah, that's a, that's the problem. And, and like right now, we're just hanging out. So if you have some, if you have questions, just let us know. And mm -hmm. um, but you know, before if we're opening something or whatever, it's kind of <laughs> it is kind of hard. Um, it can. James uh, asked a question. Yes. Would you guys pick up a Jazz Ink Anakin Starfighter? Geez, that would be that's so big. That's um, what you said, but uh, yeah, definitely. Probably the same size as a snow speeder, though. I saw I saw the one they had at Comic or at uh, Comic Con. Yeah. The Hot Toys put out. It's huge. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's freaking amazing. I don't honestly. I don't think after the we'll see after the Jazz Ink cockpit. I don't know if I'd want if I want to get stuff that has that I can put Hot Toys in. Uh -huh. To be completely honest, um, I don't know, man. I got to see how I feel about this 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 cockpit before I jump on a lot of other things. <laughs> I'm getting the race Peter. That one I'm getting because I, I really, really? want to put. I love the race. I love Ray the Ray figure. That's one of my favorite hot toys, and that race Peter looks awesome. So I'm getting that one, and it's really not that much money. Matt, when I messaged really, you about it, did you like? Did you see it before then and then order it, or did you like see my comment and jump on and order it? I think I saw your comment, yeah. and I, I mean, I, I ordered it immediately. Like, immediately, yeah. Yeah. Because there, there's no there's no deposit. You just order it. I don't think that limited to twenty five is a real thing. It's not. Yeah. I think he's limiting. I think he's saying you have to, he has to get twenty five to make it. Right. And then he will make it, and yeah. however many, yeah. Yeah. All right, um, hey guys, I got to bounce, but. Uh... BJ, thanks for hopping on, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Thor, Pink Seven. I'm yeah, Pink no signing out here. Um, Chris, Matt, hey, BJ. Again. appreciate it, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Everyone in thanks, chat, BJ. thanks for hanging out. You know, thanks for the comments. Thanks for keeping the the chat going. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Peace, good, buddy. Um, let me see one of those real quick. Do you have to? Can you hang out, Thor? Or you got to go. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I was gonna split like around eleven, but yeah, I mean, no worries. A minute, yeah, yeah, no worries. It's not a problem. Um, any of you getting two thousand ninety nine Spider Man, or are you guys strictly Star Wars? Um, I, Chris, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Chris is. Chris is actually really excited about that figure. Yep, that and the Stanley, I'm really excited about. Yeah, I've been I think for that one for like a year. To be honest with you, yeah, it's yeah, no, that's cool. Scarlet Spider last year, I wanted that. I wanted this one. So, yeah. Um. I, again, I'm happy for the Marvel collectors. I just don't understand why they didn't have any other, you know, variety. Uh, a little bit more variety with the um, the releases for Comic Con, but they usually. Um, yeah, maybe not. I maybe I was. Yeah. I shouldn't expect that, DC. But. They had Two Face last year, and then the year before, wasn't it Anakin? And then I don't know behind before that, but they generally have mostly a Marvel lot, anyways. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, guys, we just we just wanted to hop on to talk, and I know we don't have a we don't have a show tomorrow night. Um, watch DCX tomorrow night if you're around. Hey, uh, if anybody want to come on, we can fit ten people on in now. So, uh, <laughs> if anybody want to come join us, that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll see. If, I'll see if I'm around. All right. Um, how did how does it work with ten people? Thor? It, it actually wasn't bad because last week for the hundredth uh, show we had ten folks and pe more people was trying to get in just to say congrats. But uh, it was it yeah. went it went smooth. Like they they make obviously the windows are smaller, but it ends up looking a lot like the Brady bunch a little bit. Cause it's like, you know, the whole screen is full with, with people. Yeah. If I, if I don't get on this one, I'd like to get on another one at some point. I, I, sure. I love all the, all you guys are fantastic people. So I, I oh, man. oh man, we love when you guys hang out with us too. I man. mean, I don't, I don't have a whole compared to everyone else. I don't have a whole lot to say about statues, but well, I mean, you know, if, if anybody's seen us, it ain't all about statues. You know, we do armpit hair and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, it ain't just strictly about statues, you see. Yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm seeing this armpit hair thing pop up a lot. What oh, yes. Well, well, you see, uh, it all start, actually started with PJ uh, back with um, Zazie Beats. That was, uh, you know, when she played, uh, 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 what do you call it, from Deadpool. Uh -huh. uh, down, bingo. And uh, PJ brought it to our attention that uh, she, she advocates for women not to shave their armpit hair. 
mm-hmm. and he posed the question to us: Would you really care if they shave armpit or not? Would you still uh, engage in uh, Order sixty nine on her? And uh, we were like, uh, bro, we don't give a shit about me and Rodney. We're like, we don't care about no damn armpit head. We're like, really? So we began to take a survey whenever a new person came on the show. We're like, do you care about armpit head? And, like, and, you know, we pick out your favorite, whoever, you know. And uh, for the most part, people don't give a shit about no armpit head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, you can live with that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to be able to pose that Spider-Man. Uh, no, definitely the Iron Spider. The Iron, the Iron Spider is terrible to pose. You can't pose that at all. And uh, yeah, yeah. even the advanced suit Spider-Man, the suit is not all that great to pose. You know, it supposedly goes back, but I don't have mine posed at all. I, I pose my stuff a lot, but I don't pose any of the Spider-Man. Now the Red Iron Spider will be posable. That won't be. Yeah, he says new collect. He's a new collector. He, he um, told himself he would strictly stick to the Mandalorian, but there's too many awesome figures. Do you guys suggest to stay with one line or go wild? No, I, uh, that we were talking about that earlier. Uh, if you can stay with one line, um, yeah, it's tough because honestly, it depends. Like Nerdified, if you if you're just doing Hot Toys right now, you don't know. Like look at look at me. I was I was strictly Hot Toys, and I've now. I'm now collecting, you know, helmets and statues and all kinds of stuff. And I'm, I'm strictly one, you know, star Wars, which helps. But, um, if I was collecting everything, man, that would be really hard. And, um, I just don't know how I do it. The nice, the only thing I would say that's I, nice I, about I, collecting everything at the beginning is that you have more things to sell later down the line when you find out what you really want to collect. Um, that is actually really nice, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, if otherwise, if you can figure out what you really love now and you can stick with it, then do that. Man. That's that's a way to go. Um, I it's collect Marvel and Star Wars. So. Yeah, yeah. Steve, uh, Chris collects, uh, does that. I mean, Steve collects, Steve collects um, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. And, um, you know, Thor and I just collect Star Wars. Thor. And Thor's even no, more no. streamlined. Thor's going to aliens. Well, yeah, but he's yeah. even more streamlined than that, though, because he collects like the Sith. Sith low, like mostly villains, but like mostly yeah. Sith, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, you see both. Makes, makes it, yeah, it makes it way, way better. Um, <clears throat> Which is uh, why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about selling Shock T. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, yeah, but yeah. She really doesn't fit, you know I mean? Like, you get all these Sith Lords and everything. I mean, she's a great piece, but I, I think I might sell her, man. Chris, man. <laughs> yeah. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. I've wanted one for a long time. It's just kind of have bad, elsewhere. Bad, right bad timing. Yeah. Yeah. Bad timing. I uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not uh, homeless, uh, especially after this giant purchase. I'm not made. homeless. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a. It was a. It's been a crazy ride, man. I, I'm glad. I'm super happy. I went the direction I went. I love the Mythos statues. I love the statues I have. It just it's just so nice to have a variety now. I just love it. I love it so much. So I'm glad it's just it's just been a, a, a bit of a ride. So it is hard to stick to one thing though. It really yeah. is. Like I yeah. like statues, Star Wars, uh, hot toys, helmets, three and three quarter figures, vintage figures, Marvel. I collect everything. I really yeah. do. It's, I it's, collect it's too it's much. Tough. It's tough. Yeah. But yeah, we do do your best you can because it's it's that's the way to go, man. It's the way to go if you can if you can stick with one thing. Honestly, if you if you're happy with Hot Toys and you stick with Hot Toys, then great. You're gonna save yourself even more money. But you know, there's so many fun things to collect out there, especially with Star Wars. You know, they they make so many cool helmets and um, all kinds, yeah, lightsaber hilts and all kinds of ah, it's just so much cool stuff that Steve's getting into replica guns. Prop, yeah, props, man. Yep. There's a lot to get into, so. Yep. Yep, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's about it. I think we're gonna hop off. So, um, thank you, chat, for hanging out and for being very cool and asking questions and being around and and you know, um, <laughs> we'll we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna do a. I don't know if we're gonna do Chris a uh, shelter in space next week. Do you know? 
I don't think so. If we're going to do an unboxing and then... Oh, that's right. Wednesday, Wednesday, right? Yeah, probably Wednesday. And then I don't, you were talking about a, a Rogue One and... and uh, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We may maybe the rogue one will be when we see things. I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to see. But um, Thor, you're gonna be want to be on that unboxing. Huh? We'll we'll talk to you after we, right. we get out. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate you, and we will see you soon. Peace.